Hey Floss Tube, it's Sarah from My Square I'm Stitching. Today is Floss Tube 50 Big 50. It is February 28th. <clears throat> Thank you for stopping by. If it's your first time stopping by, thanks for coming back. Sorry I'm jiggling everything. I'm very antsy today. Um, this is a Floss Tube uh, where I talk about cross stitch. That's my main hobby. I also quilt and knit, um, but there's none of that. I was gonna show you the quilt I started for my nephew, but literally all I did was cut the fabric and it's jelly rolls, so I cut one jelly roll in half. That's not exciting stuff. You don't need to see it. It's reds and blacks. I'm hoping to get started on it. I was hoping to work on it this weekend, but I got a major case of the blahs and it didn't do much crafting. But here I am to show you what I did do. It's not to real abrupt. That was a weird smile. Okay, so. I'm gonna mark off the quilt because I'm not gonna show you that. Do, 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 do. I worked on for fandom stitching. First off, fandom stitching. We're doing um, Lord of the Rings, and for March they're doing uh, March Madness, and I'm gonna participate until the 20th because I have my arm surgery on the 21st, uh, probably early. Aren't I feel like all my surgeries are early, so I'm probably not gonna stitch that day. Um. So yeah, so I'll show you what the projects I plan to work on, sorry. And then um, they're still doing weeklies, so I'll still be doing weeklies up until my surgery so I can get my team some points. Go Dwarves! Uh, so I worked on a few things. Let's see, I worked on Black and Sky. I moved all my stuff over because I did a little bit of hunting I'll talk about later. And so it got me all flustered and I had to move all my stuff around. That I had set up for this. Okay, so I worked on Black and Sky. Not a lot, just 50 stitches in it for um for um fandom stitching. So black and sky. We look like this when it's done. Um currently in Green Hell. Well actually I've exited Green Hell all that green in that one and I worked a little bit on the second mini sun and this is black and sky by the primitive needle it is on a nameless gray 18 count Ada from bestitch me two over two so I started working on that second little sun that's all I did I love this fabric though. I wish you could see how pretty it is in person. Like, it's not, in person it's definitely more gray. It's very beautiful. And I'll be working on again, on this again, tomorrow actually for more Stitchy Madness. But then I worked on my okay first off okay so what i worked on that and then i'll this isn't cross stitch it's counted canvas i just got a whim to start it the other day it is it's big and i was afraid i wouldn't have anywhere to put it but it fits perfectly in the big ass bag i got in the um black needle society advent calendar it, pattern goes in here, the zippered one, the bars and the thing go in the big part, the pockets have the pattern I'm actually working on, my uh, scissors and highlighter, and then floss I'm actually using goes in the front. It's perfect. But anyways, so it's counted canvas. It is the Autumn Barn Quilts from Nancy's Needles. Now I should have got something that said beginner on it or something because my brain is having a hell of a time doing this. And the instructions, most stitches are variations of the Gobelin or slanted Gobelin stitch. That's it. That's, that's the instructions. And so my brain, when I look at the pattern, I'm gonna show you part of the pattern because it's not gonna do anything for you. Those little squares, I wanna count as like crosses, but I need to count the lines instead. 
I honestly could not grasp it until I watched um, Carolyn Stitches. Oh my God, why did I forget your YouTube name, Carolyn? Carolyn Stitches? Oh my gosh. Yeah, Carolyn Stitches. She has, um, she's one that turned me on to the, this county canvas stuff. And so I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure I remember her putting out some videos of her working on her counted canvas. So I went and thanks to her, I was able to grasp that I'm supposed to like count. Also, I'm not very taught. I'm not good at this. <laughs> this is my first one. I'm supposed to like, count like, I can't explain it. And honestly, I've already forgotten what I, I watched. So when I pick this up again, I'm gonna have to rewatch her video. And I've already fucked up, but I don't care, I'm not fixing it. So you start in the middle with that little beautiful tree. And that's what I have of the tree. And if you look at the little white stitches, the cream stitches around the trunk, you can see where I messed up. But uh, I don't care. I started to get the groove and I stopped because I wasn't loving it, quite honestly. I feel like it took too much brain power and I missed just my simple X's that I'm confident in doing. Yeah, so that's all I got. No fun colors yet. It's gonna be big. So I wish I gotten something smaller, maybe something that said beginner on it, maybe something that, because it doesn't have any, there's no specialty stitches. It's literally goblin and slanted goblins. It's up and down and sideways stitches. That's it. So it should be easy once I can wrap my brain fully around it. I think I'll enjoy it more. Just my brain is just so... Maybe I picked a bad day to try it. I don't know. Pretty colors though, and I am looking forward to working on it. Damn it, I left out my pattern. Try to be organized and look what it gets me. A lot of zipping and unzipping. Okay. Now I will get on to the two things I worked on, one I loved, one I hated. I fucking hate my shadow lane, you guys. I hate it so much. <sighs> Let me find my pictures of it. Okay. It's the Egypt Garden Shadow Lane. It'll look like this when it's done. Freaking stunning. Gorgeous. <sighs> this center. Is it a bit of middle center? I want to burn it to the ground. I want to fucking cut it out. I want to, I hate it so much. All that one over one and then all one over one in metallics. Oh my God, it made me so mad. I hated it. Doing 50 stitches for phantom stitching. Like I almost stopped after like 30 and was like, no, I'm done. I'm not doing it. I'll pick something else. But I was like, well, I've already done 30. I might as well stick it out and do the last 20 for the 50 stitches oh, just I hate it so much I mean I like everything else about it I do not like the middle section I do not like itty bitty one over one in metallics the one over one parts with the normal um floss wasn't great it wasn't awful but it wasn't great it, it it's a bit much for my old lady eyeballs and it is, I forgot to tell you, the Egypt Garden is on um, 32 count vintage country mocha Lugana, all the called for stuff. That's not, I forgot to tell you, that's what I'm working on. 32 count, all the called for stuff, one over one, two over two, blah, blah, blah. 32 count vintage, vintage country mocha. Sorry. So, so focused on telling you much, I hated it. The fabric's great. I love the fabric. It's pretty, it's soft, it's easy to work with, but the one over one killing my eyes. And it's even worse in this lighting with metallics. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I can't tell, honestly, like, if I skipped crossing some of those, I should have just done one over one. Even then, I honestly can't tell if I skipped some spots because it's not like overall shine. I'll show it to you. I basically finished that fish, that little fish, and that little fish. So 
So I have, what do I have? Fuck off. The rest of that fish to finish. I think the bottom fish is all done. I think that fish is done. So basically I have the two side fishes and then one of the little tiny fishes next to it left to do. And I know I should just buckle down and do it and get it over with, but I really, it, it honestly makes me mad. I hate every tiny little stitch. The petite treasure braid's not bad. I just really, really hate one over one and with metallics. I really, really hate it. <sighs> That's why I stopped doing it for so long. I branched out and did it or that's fun. I enjoy that. But I gotta finish the middle to get just get it over with. It's gotta get it over with. And then project I worked on that I absolutely loved. Because it's so exciting. Let me get my pattern out. I need all my stuff out. I don't know where all my stuff's at. Avalanche. This is how my day is going. Dropped everything. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is my Nefertiri from Hade. The artwork is by Mandy Mazzano. And it, I'm using just DMC. It's on 25 count, easy count Lugana, two over one tent stitch. Okay, so. All the pink is what I've done since last week. Again, there's like 48 pages of this pattern. So I'm, I don't feel bad showing you this. You're not gonna be able to figure anything out. But all that pink is what I did. So see the week before, I got so much of the blue was the week before. I got so much more done. The pink, I was busy to this week. The pink is all I got done, but it finished out all the black. So that meant I got to move on to colors. So this is Nefertiri. Let me find her beautiful, beautiful picture for you. Oh, that's my dog, you don't wanna see that. Nefertiri, where are you? gorgeous morning you oh gosh she's so pretty i love her so much so again i started the middle center so i'm working this little part right here so that little part right there so that's what she'll look like in all her gorgeousness and i got all the black done for one page one page is this from here to here to here this is one page and i got to start adding even more pretty blues more colors That's so cool looking. Like, I love that I can look at it, look at this now. Oh my God. Ooh. Me and technology. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Okay, and I can make out that it's that top. See, I love that I can make out what I'm working on. It is so, so fun. So I'm working on those blue blues and then I'm going to branch it start working on the yellows but yeah so I was just ah oh, so enjoying that so 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 much I can't wait to work on it some more but I'll be working on it working on it less well actually I work on it in a couple days for March Stitchy Madness but uh March Madness whatever it's called but um because she's day four but because of March Madness I'm trying to you get one point for every hundred stitches you do in fandom stitching I'm trying to focus on every day just that project unless I work I'll take a work project because I can't take Nefertiri to work that wouldn't I, I, no. I especially now that I'm in a lot more I'm in confetti I couldn't I couldn't do that so oh I know what I'll take to work I'll get I'll, I'll get to that in a moment <laughs> But anyways, okay, so that's everything I worked on. I did finish one thing. So for um, the hashtag spring stitching sal with Jessica from um, Stitches of Sass, she was um, doing stitch something springy. So I started the uh, spring basket by Barbara Anna. It's in the 2019 spring issue of Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher. And I did mine on 36 count linen in Peanut by Bestitch Me and I just used DMC. I didn't change anything except like the bluey color. I did not have my stash. So I picked one I liked and I darkened uh, the man's skin tone so that they were not too super white people. 
And I finished the little dobo pillow with this little brown border. And then yellow and then like a little yellow leaf. I know there's no yellow leaves in here, but I have a green ones and that greeny is like yellow and there's yellow flowers. So it works for me. Covered up my hole. But there it is for my doable for spring. And I think it's adorable and it's stitched up super quick. And I did just one over one DMCs. They're so cute. So yeah, that's my last up. Oh, damn, that's not, oh, I dropped it. And there I go. Here, I'm back. So that's all I've got for that. Now I'll talk about uh, March Madness for fandom stitching. So I'll show you the projects I'm going to work on for the from the Wednesday to next Monday. So the first through the sixth. So the first is actually Black at Sky, which you saw. So I have my stack over here. And then my second day is going to be my Spirits of the Dead. I'll show you what I've got on it so far. This is from Modern Folk Embroidery. And it is on um, 32 Count Belfast Linen and Shale by Picture This Plus. Silks for You in Winter Wonderland. Two over two. That's what I have so far. Let's see if I can find my picture of what it'll look like in the end. In the end. I am on a struggle bus today, you guys. I'd like to knock out the letters first before I start all the fun stuff because I just don't really enjoy knitting letters, stitching letters. <laughs> there we have it. So that's for day two. Then day three is going to be another modern folk embroidery. It's Move Forward in Love. don't think I have what it's on written down. Move forward in love. Sorry, I know this is not your idea of a good time watching me flip through a magazine. It's on 32 Count Lugana in Harvest Moon by Color and Cotton, two over two DMCs. And that's what I've got so far. Now, my treasure hunt. Do you remember a few floss tubes back, I lost my Moonlit Owl Mill Hill. I have no idea where it went. Banished, gone. So then I was getting all my projects out for March Madness and stacking them up so I could go through them day by day and then put them away, you know, keep myself organized. And I could not find this project. I couldn't even remember what project bag was it was in. I was looking at all my project bags. I'm like, I can't even remember which project bag is missing. So I got mad because like that's two projects gone. I would not have just thrown these away. I would not have act Mill Hill accidentally made me it small. This, no freaking way. So I got on my hands and knees. I pulled out my all the stuff out of my craft drawer down here got a flashlight and sure enough it had gotten so full a bunch of stuff had slid off and fallen behind this was one of them so it was moonlit owl <laughs> I found moonlit owl that's my mil moonlit owl mill I found it this is what I'm going to take to work this is going to be my work project so that I can work on this um, on days I can't take my stitchy, my March Madness, like Nefertiri to work. I'm gonna take that. So, yeah, yeah. I also found a couple other things I'll talk about here in a minute. <sighs> I'm not sure why I didn't look there before, but anyways. So there, that, that is for day three. Looking forward to working on that. I'll also be for, um, the weekly, I'll be working on this for one prompt. And something else for one prompt. I can't remember now. And then for day four, I'll be bringing back Nefertiri. And then for day five, I'll be doing Seasons of the Heart by Barbara Anna. Which is right here, I think. This is what I've got on Seasons of the Heart. Nope. There we go. 
don't have much. Have one little flower done. And this is on something that I don't have written down. Why am I not writing all my stuff down? I was trying to keep little note cards in so that I could remember all this stuff. Oh, it's on fight Fortnite Fabrics, Lugana, 32 count. I believe I'm doing two over two. That looks like two over two. Yeah, that's two over two. What color was this? Plush. So I've got one flower done. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's turning out, it looks really nice on the camera there. And then for day six, I'm excited that before my surgery, I'm gonna touch all of my whips, especially now that I found Moonlit Owl. <laughs> I'm really happy I'm gonna touch everything before I put it all away for a couple weeks. And I'm going to try to finish my nephew's quilt and I'm gonna to try to do a little bit more on the counted canvas, we'll see. But anyways, my last project for day six is Monster Wonder Whale from Al Forest Embroidery. I'm using the called for uh, fabric and their overdyed threads, two over two. Not a lot done, really just basic. Kind of, I guess it is pretty yellowy fabric. I guess I didn't realize how yellow it was gonna, yellowy it was gonna be, but it's fine. Which way is this friggin' well go? This way. <laughs> like I said, not a lot done. And that fabric looks like it's such a small piece. I'm like, I'm like, I hope he fits. Of course he'll fit. They planned it that way. It's supposed to be two over two. But man, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Where am I? I started right in the middle. Right there. Right there. Gosh, it just feels like such a small piece of fabric. <laughs> if it doesn't fit, I'll be so sad. It just feels so small. And that's what I'm doing for March Madness. Plus my little owl for work. So I'm excited about all this. Now on to my treasure hunt. What else I found behind that drawer? I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew I had another bag. I knew I had a fall bag from a Bestitch Me box from a while ago, I knew, and I found it. It's not my favorite bag. I don't really like chickens. I think it's actually kind of ugly. Like, I really liked the inside fabric, like sparkly, kind of plain. And I liked these leaves. I don't particularly like chickens. I don't hate chickens, but they're not my favorite thing. It's kind of, yeah, like I said, I think it's ugly. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep it because I keep accumulating projects that I need bags. If I don't end up using it, if it just ends up sitting and sitting and sitting and not being used, like it dusty from me behind a drawer. Maybe I'll give it to somebody who likes chickens. And then I also found fabric, 32 count Belfast linen in shadow. I can't remember what I used this for, because it's just like a scrap, right? It's not, is it a full piece? Is it a scrap I used for something else? Yes, yeah, so it's like a big long scrap. I can fit something on there. But yeah, just fabric hanging out in the back for God knows friggin' how long. What did I use? Belfast. This might have been when I did my planets on, which I did forever ago. And then I found a pattern. Quaker Gone Haunted by Michelle Inc. Needlework Designs. I forgot about that. That's freaking awesome. And then I found this little like furry ox thingy cow thing my mom got when they went to like, I think Scotland years ago. And apparently the mouse that was running free a while ago nibbled him a little bit. So I found him. And then two Christmases ago, not this past Christmas, Christmas before, I bought this for my son's advent calendar and then I couldn't find it. So I had to buy him a new pin. So I found him an Omega Mart cow pin because he loves Omega Mart. But now I can't, because that was two years ago, I can't remember if I bought him the exact same pin. I remember, being, I remember being mad that I couldn't find it. 
So I can't, but I can't remember if I ordered the same pen and put it in his advent calendar. I'm going to go in his room while he's at work and check it out. Because if he doesn't have it, I'll stick this in his Easter basket. If he does have it, have it I'll, just have, I'll just give it to him as a second one. But yeah, so it's just like stuff piled up back there for two years. Probably two years. Probably a year. Probably a year on the other stuff. Like this was, I'm fairly certain not this past fall. I want to say last fall. So I got this bag. I, and then of course my owl that I lost was back there. And the other project bag, this project bag that I made that had my pride in it. So all this stuff was just, I'm gonna show you it all together. I don't no idea how that drawer was even closing all the way. It's all this stuff, all this stuff fell behind it. What? I don't whack myself with it. So, <laughs> yeah. So treasure hunt. It's like, it's like, oh how to forget about that? It's so pretty. I love it. That's that's me in a nutshell. Losing stuff and being like, oh well. <laughs> Until I get so frustrated, I tear stuff apart. And when I did that deep clean, I'm not sure why I didn't pull that drawer out and check. Because then I did get paranoid that during the deep clean, I threw stuff away. But I'm like, I would not throw an entire project bag with a project in it away. I'm not that dumb. <sighs> Anyways, okay. So now on to life and stuff. So my son started his first day at a local dealership. He's loving it. I had my, I have two appointments before my surgery. I had the one today over phone, talk about anesthesia and do medical history and run down the surgery and yada yada. And then I have an actual inpatient visit next week and then my surgery's in exactly three weeks that's nerve-wracking let's see what else okay um instagram they did the common threaded stitcher uh tag and i participated in that and um that was fun um i kind of like it when they do a full month i feel like it's more i guess maybe she, a month is long you're kind of bored with it or you don't keep up with it as much after that long but a weekend's like jam-packed especially because they do two prompts maybe they should do it for two weeks that's not my thing so i'm not in charge of it who cares i'm, I'm gonna keep doing it i enjoy doing it plus i found a whole slew i fought, started following a bunch of other uh new people um and i found a whole slew of them who have new floss tubes that i added to my watch list so i'm just gonna i haven't watched any of them yet i don't know if they're good i don't know if i'm gonna like them i can't imagine why i wouldn't i've only really honestly watched to maybe three floss tubes where I've been like no thank you and one was I liked her until a few it few episodes in when I f found out how drastically different our views on human beings are so I was like oh no but you know I don't leave any rude comments I just unfollow and stop watching but anyways so the point is I like most most lost tubers because they most all of them have nice personalities and interesting projects either that I am like yes I like that I'll do that or oh, I would never do that but wow you doing it you go look at that it looks good so anyways so I have not watched any of these but I'm gonna list them off to you so you can give them a try you might like them so I have on my to watch I have Wordy Stitches, Heidi's Homemade, Geek Witch, Mod Cross Patterns, Spring Hill Dress, Lacey Makes, The 20 Minute Stitcher, Make Do Maker, An Aussie in a Kiwi World, I'm not sure why my brain couldn't understand what Aussie was, Garnet Rose Stitchers, Painful Stitcher, and Kensington Cross Stitch. I will link them all below. Like I said, I have not watched any of them yet, so I'm looking forward to it. I fell down a rabbit hole of uh, Babylon 5. Because in my heart of hearts, I am a sci-fi geeky nerd girl. I was not one until later in life. Well, it's not true. In my youth, the only real Star Trek or geeky sci-fi I watched was I loved um, the original Star Trek. I watched it all the time. Loved it. But I never got into, like, Generations or anything until I got a little older. And then I got into all the Star Treks. And then I got into Farscape, Stargate, um... 
Battlestar Galactica. And one that I could never find to watch was Babylon 5. Because I've always heard such good things about it. And everywhere I would go, they'd be like, it costs to watch. And I was like, well, I'm not paying for it. I don't know if I like it. But I uh, had the Tubi, Tubi, T-U-B-I app on our TV. And I went to it one day and there was Babylon 5. And I was like, whoa, yes. So I'm watching it and I'm loving it. It is 90s cheesy fantastic. It is, I love it. So far I'm really enjoying it. It is no Star Trek, it is no Stargate, it is no um, Farscape, but it is, it is quite enjoyable and I fell into that rabbit hole and I've been doing a lot of sitting on my couch with my dogs watching it. So yeah, that's why I haven't had a chance to watch these new Foss tubes I've saved. Foss tubers that I've saved because I've been watching TV. Um, so that's it. I have no haul for you guys. Like I said, I'm trying not to buy anything. I don't think I have anything coming. I feel kind of like I got, like I bought, I felt kind of like I had a haul. Because I'm like, look at that, a project bag, a pattern, and some floss. <laughs> floss. Fabric. I feel like I just went shopping. So, yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> I will see you guys next week. I will have at least one, two, three, four, five, six seven projects to show you because uh starch Ma starch madness mm -hmm. march madness is in full effect and if you're doing march madness of any kind let me know because i know that there's a few different ways to do it um i lost my train of thought but anyways <laughs> thanks for coming by thanks for stopping by thanks for giving me a chance thanks for putting up with me and i hope you guys have a lovely week bye